Hello, I'm Billy Parmitan reporting for the News Feed. This is your feed update for Wednesday, October 10th. Writer and Washington Post contributor Jamal Khashoggi vanished last week after going to his country's consulate in Istanbul to receive divorce paperwork. Khashoggi, who had written critically about Prince Mohammed and the kingdom, is suspected to have been killed by a 15-man assassination squad. Turkish officials say they fear Khashoggi was killed, an allegation dismissed as baseless by Saudi Arabia. Critics of the government in Saudi Arabia are asking for CCTV footage from the consulate to be released to the public. First Lady Melania Trump says women who make accusations of sexual abuse need to be heard and supported, but so do men. She says when there are accusations, there needs to be really hard evidence, and accusers should show the evidence. Mrs. Trump was interviewed on her Kenya trip by ABC, which aired portions Wednesday on Good Morning America. Asked whether she supports the Me Too movement, Mrs. Trump said, I support the women and they need to be heard. We need to support them. And you know, also men, not just women. President Donald Trump, accused of sexual assault by numerous women over the years, has said it's a scary time for men facing allegations from years ago, as with Brett Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh denied those, as is Trump. A board has endorsed the replacement of some portraits of George Washington and Robert E. Lee in military uniforms at Washington and Lee University in Virginia. The Richmond Times-Dispatch reports the Board of Trustees announced that it will endorse the replacement of those portraits in Lee Chapel with those of the two men in civilian clothing. It also endorsed the doors to the statue chamber in 1883 addition to Lee Chapel being closed during university events. Lee served as president of Washington College. He died in 1870 and his name was added to the institutions. Robinson Hall will be renamed to Chavis Hall in honor of John Chavis, the first African American to receive a college degree in the United States. Lee Jackson House will also be renamed. And that is your feed update for this Wednesday, October 10th. As always, stay connected with us on Twitter and Facebook for more news and information. I'm Billy Parvitan.